everyone just wanted to jump on and go through what you can win in the christmas hamper raffle i'll go through everything that's in there and it's price so you know what you're saving the tickets are three pounds for one ticket or if you buy three it's seven pounds um i'll go through all the prices but if you know anyone with a dog or you have a dog then you get a lot in here which is really worth it for the risk of three pounds i think so i'll start with one of the rubber balls so it's made from natural rubber it's a brand called Bico. You may have all heard of them. They sell them in a lot of stores now. Pets at Home um, on the website. There's a lot of places that sell them. So all the packaging from Bico is made from recycled paper and the rubber is a natural rubber. Um, they have a hole in each side where you can hide treats. So when they chew on them, it comes out. Um, they're also good just as like they are without needing to hide a treat in them. They will occupy your dog for quite a while. They come in, I think, three different sizes. I've got the mini ones, which are really good for puppies and um, a larger one as well. If you have a really big dog, um, this is probably quite good for a medium sized dogs up to large. You can get a bigger one, but you wouldn't necessarily need it for a larger dog. Um, it might just be a bit heavy for a puppy, so we can always swap it out if you wanted to. They come in green, pink, and the blue. The Bico ball, again, natural rubber ball, hide treats in there. I tend to crush the treats up, and then as they roll them along, the treats come out. You don't have to crush them up. My dogs just aren't clever enough to work out how to get them out unless they are crushed. Um, again, this comes in I think four different sizes, the small, which is perfect for a puppy. This one, which is generally good for any medium sized dogs. The large one is also, I would say, fine for a medium dog. And then extra large, which a medium dog and a small dog would still chase, but better for the bigger dogs treat size wise. And then we have price. I didn't give you a price. So five pounds 50 for that one. You can buy it from Bico directly, but I think it is six pounds and the bone is eight pounds 50. Again, Bico, you can buy it from for, I think nine pounds. Um, Lucy, I've got a lot of love for this girl here. So, um, this is made from recycled plastic. So it's got a really strong, really strong fabric. Um, one of our dogs loves to rip through any toy. She loves to get the stuffing out. She doesn't eat it, but she gets all of the stuffing out. She really struggled getting through this. It's not indestructible. She will get through it eventually, but I'm talking weeks or months rather than a day. Um, it's got no stuffing in the wings, so she can pull them off quite without, you know, getting any stuffing out. I don't think she actually did pull them off though. It's it's stitched in pretty pretty tightly. Um, they come in different sizes as a medium um, and a small. This is the large one. The small one is really for puppies or very small dogs, um, but the medium would also be fine for them. They might have a bit more fun with it. Um, I would say this is the most prettiest, almost indestructible toy that you can get without it being a soft toy um, and she left it in the garden for a long while it's easy to wipe down so I, I think it's a really good toy they come in um, a monkey a bear a giraffe crocodile and an elephant I have the crocodile the giraffe and the elephant so if you didn't like Lucy we can swap it out for one of the other designs but what's not to like about Lucy? I don't think there's anything. Um, all the stitching is double stitched and it's got a squeaker inside. Not an offensive squeaker, but enough to get your dog's attention. That's Lucy. She is £12.50. Again, you can buy her from other places. I think she's normally around £13 from Bico or other shops. This is a stuffed bone. It's from a company called Project Blue. I love them. I sell their leads and their collars in the shed. Um, and I also have one of their beds, um, which I love. So it's made from recycled 
ocean bound waste. It's not the toughest toy in the world. It's not gonna, they're gonna be able to get through it fairly quickly, but it is made from recycled plastic bottles. So it is a bit tougher than your normal fabric. And I just think it's quite pretty. So they do it, I think in five different colors. We've got a navy bone, a gray one. We've got a gray herring bone without the blue and one other color, which I can't remember now, but if you want to swap out for other colors, then you can. Um, this one is five pounds. I think it's probably around 50p more from them directly. They may, you may be able to buy on other websites, but it's a really good company. I love them. The brand, I think they're very good and everything's recyclable. It's all eco-friendly and they're still a growing company. They're still fairly small, but if you have time, have a look at Project Blue. They're very good. So that's available. Um, we'll move on to the hemp rope ball. So I love the hemp rope products from Beko. I just think they're very tough. A lot of dogs will rip through a lot of things very quickly. They sell the hemp rope on a loop, which has the phrase coming out the bottom. Now it is natural hemp, so it's non-toxic to your dog, although realistically they still shouldn't be swallowing that many fibers. With these, because it's braided, it's really tough for them to get through. They won't have all those little bits sticking out. My dogs, one of them will just swallow anything, but it is non-toxic. So at least if she does, you know, you're fairly safe with that. The ball also acts as a teeth cleaner. So when they're chewing on the rope or on the ball itself, it's actually naturally cleaning or, or getting at the plaque and the buildup on their teeth. So it's very good for them as well as being fun. Um, really good for tug of war and you can just throw it like a normal ball as well. I know a lot of my doggy friends love the hemp, anything with the hemp rope on and especially the ball because it will not fall apart. One day it will fall apart, but it's pretty good. Um, we've got the bamboo bowl. I love the bamboo bowl. So normally it is £6.50. I don't think I told you the price of the ball. I'm going to go back to the ball. £4.50. It's also available in a larger ball. Um, I think it's probably about £5 on their website. So the bowl, £6.50. You can buy it on their website for £7. It comes in, I think, five different colours. So this is, I think it's called the honeycomb print. Comes in a navy, a grey, a mint green and um, a waves. So it's like a cream with blue waves across it. They come in small and large. So it's either good for a smaller one for food or smaller dogs. Um, I've got two larger ones for water and food, which I love. Um, so it's sustainable bamboo. Um, it can also go in the dishwasher on the top shelf. It's BPA free and the sustainable bamboo is important. We're all switching to more ethically sourced products or we're trying to. There's a lot of bamboo products out at the moment and that's really good, but a lot of them aren't ethically sourced bamboo, which means they're still ripping down animals' habitats to get the bamboo that you want. So make sure that your bamboo is ethically sourced and this is. Next up we have, let's go dog poop bags. So this is Adios. I love them as a brand. They're a really nice, cute little company. Um, these are 100% home compostable. And the difference between compostable and biodegradable is that basically with the biodegradable ones, they still can leave microplastics. So you're still leaving small amounts of plastics in rubbish tips and dumps and you know, you're not getting rid of the problem, you're just making it smaller. So compostable ones are brilliant. Um, they're made from cornstarch and these ones have a reindeer print on them. They're also available in a pink and a gray. So there's 60 bags, four rolls. They should fit in your, um, any poo, poo bag holders you have. They're pretty standard size are those. Um, they're normally, 
I think they're normally £5.50 for four, I'm going to say. Then we've got the deodorising pet spray. So baby powder is apparently the nation's favourite dog spray scent. People love their dogs to smell like baby powder. I didn't really understand it, but I do quite like the smell now. It's very fresh, it's very clean. Tropiclean is a company I use in the grooming shed. It's a nat They're made from natural ingredients. So if you have a dog that has sensitive skin, they're much more likely to have no reaction. Um, a lot of shampoos you have to use um, you know, a sensitive one for certain dogs. I can actually use any of my shampoos on dogs with sensitive skin because it is a natural product. Um, so it comes, I have four different, four different smells for the deodorizing spray. So if you don't fancy the baby powder, let me know. I'll let you know the other spray scents and we can swap it out for you. Um, but this one is actually quite nice. It lasts a long time and it's not very overpowering. A lot of dogs will sneeze repeatedly when you spray this on them. This one is a lot gentler. It doesn't irritate their nose as much. It's just a nice fresh smell when they come near you. Okay, um, Tropiclean also do. Um, that one I think is normally... The spray is normally about £12, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's £12. It may be a little bit more. Um, £8.50. I feel like it's £8.50. Let's go with that. Um, so this is Tropiclean, again, natural ingredients. It um, is for plaque and tartar buildup. Um, you just put it on their, their teeth and gums. So you just apply a little bit at the side, lift their lip, and pop it in there, both sides, and they naturally will, it makes them lick their teeth, which will remove the plaque and tartar buildup. You don't tend to see a lot of plaque and tartar buildup on dogs until they get to around the age of three. So this is actually something good to start doing with them when they're young, they're used to that process. It's not something new you're introducing. This with good dental bones and toys, which will naturally clean their teeth, should keep a lot of the buildup away. This is what I use in the grooming shed when I'm doing grooms, there's not a lot of products you can instantly get rid of plaque with. So you may see dog teeth cleaning on a lot of groomers. They will just be rubbing their teeth with a bit of toothpaste. Um, it's not an immediate, there's nothing immediately that's gonna change that um, with any individual product. So this one is a good, it's a daily one. So really this is something that you do need at home to be doing every day or every few days to help reduce the buildup. Finally, we have these treats. So you get four bags in total. Two of them are the dental bones and two of them are what you would call training treats, everyday treats. Um, one of these a day or every couple of days. Those you could give a few more throughout the day. Be careful if your dog has weight issues. Putting on weight is a problem. I do it, dogs do it. Um, so this is a brand who I love. Um, Scrumbles, I've met the owner of the company. He's very down to earth. I didn't get to meet his wife. I feel like it's his wife. Maybe it's his girlfriend at the time, but he basically started this company with his wife because their dog had a lot of problems with their with food. Um, turned out they had some gut problems and they needed something and wanted something that they could give their dog which would know they wouldn't affect them. Um, they still wanted them to have treats and that's where these have come in. So it has um, all natural ingredients. So the dental treats, these have sweet potato in, grapeseed oil, pumpkin seeds, spinach, coconut oil and um, slippery elm. So slippery elm, I have been told, is very good for their stomachs and that is what helped get their dogs better essentially. Um, so that is a, a the dental bone. Same, pretty much same concept with the training treats. Um, these have sweet potato in, cold pressed rapeseed oil, turkey, chamomile and lemon balm and the slippery elm again. 
So they're both grain free, any dogs who are not allowed grain, they're good for, and also any dogs that can have grain. A lot of the grain free ones, I think would be like a salad to us. They don't smell that great. They don't taste that great. Whereas every dog I have given these to have eaten them. So that is a good sign that they taste and smell great even without the grain in there, which, you know, everyone loves the carb. Let's not lie about it. The dogs do too. But these are dog friendly and taste good too. So that's everything that's in the hamper. Um, I'll be doing the hamper I'll be doing the raffle on the 1st of December. So if anyone wants any tickets, if you know anyone that has a dog that would like tickets, or if you just want to be in the draw for a really great Christmas present, you wanna be the best dog friend you can be, then let me know and I will arrange a ticket for you. Good luck everyone and I'll see you on the 1st.